God is passing here. The Bible says something that the flower fades, the leaves wither, but the word of God abides forever. And I believe that is really the motivation behind what I do here. And I want to believe God that some way, in a small way, these messages are adding value to your life. That's what I do, what I do. And so I want to thank God for those on this platform. And I'm believing God that it is adding a voice that will push you forward. God bless you. Let's get into the word of the living God. Praise God. God is worthy to be praised. Amen. The Bible says that from the rising up of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. And I believe strongly that he is the strength that we have and the strength that we need. And the songwriter says, you are my strength, strength like no other. Amen. I lift you before God on today and I declare that may his strength come upon me. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Hey, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And I want to thank those who are already sending their links out and want to welcome those who are coming on board welcome to the gifted platform we know that your life is not going to be the same praise be to god what a mighty god we serve i want to do something before i get into the word of god today i want to pronounce the name jesus over your life the name jesus over your condition the name jesus over your situation the bible says at the mention of that name jesus every knee bow and every voice declares that he is lord to the glory of the father what a mighty god that we serve amen amen let's work on my assignment today praise be to god i'm reading from the book of second samuel chapter 21 the verse number 22 second samuel 21 22 amen amen Ah, praise be to God. Now, the Bible says now, these four Philistines were descendants of giants of Gath, but David and his warriors killed them. Hallelujah. Giant killers, praise God. These four Philistines were descendants of giants of Gath, but David and his warriors killed them. Amen. 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 Giant killers. I came to talk about your abilities, your abilities, but this is is a, a, a picture that is going to feed into the message God has for you today. So don't get too caught up with the giants and the killing, but I just want to use it for, for as a time stamp here. So um, when you look at this verse, it is looking at the end of the death of the giants of Philistine. So from the first one who is Goliath that David killed up to this verse, we are kind of capturing the time or the time period with which all the giants were killed by King David and his men. And that is really uh, what I want you to keep at the back of your mind as I talk to you about knowing what you can do or knowing your abilities from your strength. So the first thing is I want you to know that there's a difference between what you can do and what you are strong at. Or let me say it like this. There is a difference between your abilities and your strength. It's not the same. In other words, there are things you can do because of something else not because of your strength and 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 i'm not talking about um because of god's hand on your life but i want to share with you another level of truth okay all right so stay with me as we begin to talk about this because some of you have have underestimated what you can do you have looked at yourself and you think you can only do what you are strong at or you think you can only do things that you have the ability to but i came to let you understand today that there is another level of truth that comes and we have to begin to appropriate it so if what you can do keep changing it means you got the message so at the end of today at the next 10 minutes my my, my goal is to uh, explain to you that there are things you can do that you don't know about let's get into the word of god now so David is, is, is the man in question here and the Bible is kind of capturing the fact that what David did his men also can do now let's get back into the practicality of what I'm saying it looks as if all over in the world there has been a phenomenon that is discovered over a period of years that men have started documenting things they have discovered that it, it, there is another truth to life which is just as our electronic devices begin to upgrade themselves and our apps begin to upgrade themselves and updates come upon it it has been discovered in a funny way that the universe also update itself and upgrade itself 
as if the universe downloads certain abilities into into it that make become accessible to humanity over the period of time and i'm going to give you a few examples so that you can begin to understand what i'm trying to say because what i'm teaching today is a little philosophical but it has a very deep ramification and it applies to your personal life that's why i'm serious about this so here is the first thing they have discovered that somehow the world or the universe has a way of kind of upgrading itself and this is how they discovered it historians have discovered that for some funny reason almost all the scientific um, discoveries all the scientific laws all the scientific uh, breakthroughs that were discovered even though the white people took took um, credit for it because their names are on it. it it is now becoming clear that actually around the same time the new things and the other guys were discovering people on the other side of the world was also discovering the same concept just that they didn't publish it and as i'm speaking today it is interesting that when new discovery come out scientifically many labs in the world many different labs who don't communicate with each other they end up discovering the same truth around the same time stay stay with that for a minute i'm going to tie it all together the second example is that they have discovered that in the in the athletic world in the in the in the in the track and race events they have discovered that for a whole period of time there will be a certain record either a record as in um um, 100 meters record 200 meters record it will be locked in a particular time but as soon as one person breaks that record immediately within the same year about 20 people break the same record are you following me all right stay with me so it's becoming clearer that it looks as if that the the the, the discoveries that we discover the abilities that we end up having it it becomes something that is actually not just man doing it but something that is time has come are you following me so back to our verse and i'm going to apply it to your life when david killed Goliath, the song that the women sang said david had killed um ten thousand and so so they attributed the death of 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 goliath to just david but little did they know that david had broken through that barrier for humanity and at that time the world has upgraded itself and killing giants become possible all the men that killed the sons i mean the descendant of of gath they were not even around when david was killing goliath but what happened in life is that is such that when life upgrade itself new possibilities become possible when the first Ghanaian become a multi-billionaire before you know few of other guys are doing it because that barrier has been broken it is true in the scientific world it's true in the economic world it is true in the spiritual world that is why Paul will say for what I'm teaching the disciples don't know because it was just downloaded into the Christian faith is somebody hear me today so i want you to understand that you have always calculated your abilities and what you can do based on your strength but i want you to understand that when a new year shows up when your life come to a place where you are looking at a possibility of new things happening to you i want you to understand that no now, now i'm going to break it so that you can use it in your daily life i want you to understand that first thing first maybe you are listening to me and you are the one that is supposed to break that threshold for everybody else to do it maybe you are the one in your family that's supposed to break that threshold but the point i'm making is that anytime the threshold is broken the door stays open for everybody to go through so understand that anything around you that your heart is into if the first person does it you also can do it it is the law of the upgrade of the universe that's what i will call it the law of the upgrade of the universe in other words when david killed goliath that door was open when somebody became a millionaire in your family that door was open when somebody got married in your family that door was open so when that door becomes open it becomes your ability whether you can or not that door is open that is why everywhere today as i'm speaking it is becoming a competition because when apple discovers something it's around the same time that samsung will discover it so who brings it they don't talk to each other it's not like they talk to each other it's not like they every night they meet and say what are you working on but just that when the universe upgrade itself it makes certain things possible so i came to speak to you concerning the fact that you have always underestimated what you can do when obama became president right now 
watch and see that the door is open so it is very important that you begin to understand that your abilities is not defined only by your strength but your ability is defined by what time it is and that's why i came to speak to those who are sitting down and waiting for somebody to employ you the times and the season where women owns their businesses has opened that time and we are living in a very interesting season that everything is possible everything is possible the time where you can become a farmer and be a millionaire is possible the time where you can plant multiple churches is possible the time where your children will begin to do the will of god is possible the time where salvation so 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 we we are witnessing uh upgrades of the world as never before so i came to let you understand that sit back and re-evaluate your life sit back and re go back to the drawing board and put certain strategies on place because the time where housewives just doesn't make money is over now we have called house jobs if uh, you are in the house you can own a business so i came to let you understand that we are living in a time where many doors are open and your ability now is not coming from you only but your ability is coming from the open door we are believing god that we will begin to have multiple gifted platform uh that some of you will be leading for me because we have we have come to understand that we can use this platform to impact life we can use this platform to even uh, disciple people so i want you to understand that i'm speaking to you personally today that the ability to do things doesn't always always come from what you can and what you cannot but it comes from what time it is we are living in a time where you don't have to beg anymore we are living in a time where anybody that has broken through cannot close the door because the world has upgraded itself so i want you to hear that and i want you to receive it on the day that I don't know what you are up to. I don't know what you believe you can do and what you cannot do. But I want to remind you that the ability to do the impossible is possible now. Amen. Because of what time it is. And let me pray for those who are entrepreneurs on this platform. Let me pray for those who are visionaries. Let me pray for those who are going out to do something. Let me pray for everybody on this line at the moment. Spirit of the living God, I declare in the name of Jesus that Father, you will begin to birth in us that 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 knowing, that knowing that a revelation of truth has been deposited upon the human race. And it's time for those who cannot do things to rise up and begin to ride the new wave of your will. I pray for mothers on this line. I pray for fathers. I pray for daughters. I pray for sons. I pray for those who are whose destinies have come across this platform. And I release you to do what you cannot do. I release people to begin to start things. Start your orphanage. Start your business. Start things because the time is right. And the universe has upgraded itself you are going to be the first person in your family to do it but it's critical that you do it because when you do it all your great grandchildren will do it may god bless you and give you the eyes to kill your giant in jesus name amen